Hello everybody, welcome back to Code 4 Gaming, and we have the Summer Update Part 1, which has dropped, and we're checking it out today. And if you can see, in my holstered duty belt, we now have the Glock 17. There is a massive overhaul that has taken place in terms of the combat and gun system in this game. Just the animations alone look absolutely just amazing. There's still no animation for the taser yet. But, you know, well, well, there is, but there's nothing like this. Look at that. It is holstered. I've got my hand on it. I'm ready to pull it out, shoot some bad guys. And we have a new system. It's also holding a crap ton more bullets. We've got 317 in the chamber, 17 in the ammo clip. And I guess that's one in the cha chamber as well. It fires like it's just ridiculous. And you can also see the bullet casings flying out. This really just shows how, I mean, ERLC is just turning into GTA. Like, it's... It's no joke, this is awesome. And just to see the evolution of ARLC, along with all the other Roblox games, like it is just, it's incredible. And it's really cool to be part of that, uh, to see the change, and just to see how amazing this game has gotten. So we're going to cover everything in the update. We're first going to be checking out the Falcon Stallion. So this has had a bit of a remodeling. So there's a civilian model and the police model, uh, Leo model for both Sheriff and... Police. Now, if you actually zoom in, you can see the interior where there is a steering wheel. So this hints to part two and part three of the summer update, possibly being bringing us car interiors. Now, another thing that I've also figured out is that, I mean, this car looks amazing. We've got brake lights that just look sick. The whole remodeling. I think I prefer the new model. I know it's a bit more chunkier, a bit more stretched out, but it still looks sick. And if you actually come across the AI spawned in version of this car, it has a full interior. So that's really interesting to see. So the fact that they already have those models present, it's going to be insane to see if they actually release that as part of the update. Now, there's no better place to test the, the capabilities of your Glock than the hospital. <laughs> we're not shooting sick patients, we're shooting the glass out. As you can see, this thing is just, well, I mean, you can't beat a good old Glock. Now, the other thing is with the... Oh, just died. The other thing uh, to note, you can hear that clicking sound. That's me pressing V. Now, pressing V on certain weapons, not the Glock, changes it from semi, uh, so semi-auto, to fully auto. So if you have the M4A1, MP5, G36C assault rifle, and if you click V, you can switch between the modes, the gun modes, fully auto and semi-auto. So semi-auto, every time you click your mouse, whatever, click your shoot button on iPad, you're firing a single shot, compared to full auto, where you're firing just insanely until you take your finger off the trigger. Now, there's also been a massive remodeling for the SPAS-12 Police Tactical Shotgun. And as long as with the bullet casings that fly out, you can now see the shotgun slugs fly out of the shotgun. I mean, this game is just getting incredible. The reload animation, just everything about it, it's just, um, just reminds me more and more of GTA. And just the fact that how the, the evolution of some of these ERLC, of ERLC and all the other games, is just, in, again, just incredible. Cool to be a part... Cool to be a part of that and see it happen in real time. I think we all, those of us OG players, so and everyone who played ERLC before all these bunch of updates, I still remember the good old gun store, that little box of a shop on the corner where you could go get your ammo. Uh, just awesome. It's cool to see the game evolve. Now, this is the other new place. So this is, what was this, Technology Shack? Something like that. <laughs> it's a rip-off of Radio Shack, but... I shouldn't say a rip-off, it's a uh, different variation. We've got Samsung phones, we've got Nokia phones, we've got drones, we've got the Mavic Air 2, which I actually have in real life. It's an absolutely killer drone. It's sick, you get some insane footage. So that's that drone there, and that is this new store, which is opened up along near the jewelry store shopping strip. Now, there are two cash registers in there, uh, right for the taking, so anyone can rob that. Gadget Shack, electronics, Radio Shack, but they can't call it that. So it's Gadget Shack for legal copyright reasons, uh, so they don't get sued. Because who wants to get sued? Right, now we have a bunch of stuff in here. So it's cool. I love this new addition. It's cool to see some new buildings. ARLC always needs new buildings. Like, But more places to rob. More places for the police to be dispatched to. Everything along the lines of that. Now the long-awaited prison transport bus. This was absolutely sick to see this added to the game. I am very excited. And I can already imagine all the other YouTubers, probably including myself at some point, all getting ready for the prison bus roleplay. So instead of having to use the medical bus, adding liveries to that, or even the shuttle bus, we now have an official prison transport bus. Now, I think one of the interesting, one of the most interesting things to note just from this bus in general, 
is the fact that we don't have our usual police light bar set up. So usually, you know, you have the cruise option, rear option, um, full option, you've got your takedown lights, all those different types of lights. Here we just have lights and door. And I think this is going to be the new format for future vehicles in the game. Just this format, which is, you know, it's clever, it's smart, I like it. Uh, but it's just interesting to see that. It's kind of cool. And I know with the other the other bus, the civilian bus variant, that's got a similar setup. And even the um, gas the gas depot and the uh, fuel, fuel stuff, fuel truck, which we'll check out later as well. And as soon as we jump out of the vehicle, the doors pop right open. And as you can see, this car, shouldn't say car, this beast of a vehicle is absolutely insane. You can walk up and down, full interior, and nothing new added to the prison, but you can drop your... Drop your uh, felons and gang members off here as part of the sheriff uh, prison transport team and be on your merry way. Try not to get killed in the process. So switching on over to the civilian team, there's nothing nothing better that we need to do than... Oh, damn, that sounds incredible! Crank out the good old M249 fully auto assault rifle. Now this has 600... Uh, actually, I should say 800 bullets. Uh, not anymore, because we've fired a bit of them, but that's alright. We're going to hopefully get some kills here. And it doesn't look like... The other thing I've noticed... I'm not sure if this is a glitch, but for all the people that have guns... Oh, let's get him. It doesn't actually come up above their head that they have a gun. So you just... I guess you're just shooting randomly. Yeah, see? It doesn't... Oh. Hey, man. Oh, no. Let's get him. Let's get him. The, the shooting... The shooting sound effects of this sounds incredible. Jumped in my vehicle. Alright, and again, we've got the... This is the civilian... Uh, Falcon Stallion 350 or 360. Anyway, this has got the uh, steering wheel interior as well added, which is always nice. It's cool. I really think that there'll be an interior uh, update as well. Now, one thing I did notice, and this this actually annoyed me a little bit, is the M249 was loading the wrong way. So as you can see, when you lift that clip up, it's actually supposed to be the other way around. So they're on the... I know that the developers are on the... Oh, take out that patrol car. Uh, fixing it at the moment. They are actively trying to fix that. And I know there's a couple of people, a couple of die-hard gun-loving fans that have picked that up as well. Because you can't screw up the M249. Well, at least that's what it's called, you know. You don't want to stuff it up. Now, the other thing that I was absolutely amazed to see is a complete overhaul of the phone. So we have messages. We can now personally message every single player in the server, all your buddies, all your mates. Get on that. We can put in police calls to the police fire, Department of Transportation, all that. And the other thing is, when you are having a conversation with someone... In the game, it no longer pops up as text bubbles above your person. It is personally private. It's through the message. We can call for a taxi. We can call for a limo that sends a you know, like a little pop-up to any limo or taxi drivers. We now have weather. It's Wednesday, 76 degrees. I don't know. I don't know about where everyone else is in the world, but it is freezing here. We got rain. It is, you know, with Melbourne Melbourne weather, Australian weather is just ridiculous. We're just on another. We're on another level here. So there is a whole mafia menu in your phone where you can do everything from changing the amount that people get in your mafia to changing the color to inviting players. It's just cool that we have this whole new built-in thing. Again, turning into GTA by the minute. It is absolutely insane. And we can also have a list of all the businesses and things you can visit inside ARLC. And let's give it a five-star review because why wouldn't we? And you can actually set the destination by clicking on that pin on the business, that blue pin market. It actually pins it on your map. So, I mean, it's not, I'm going to refer back to GTA. You can't see where you're driving, but you can. You have the marker that pops up. Uh, so, si similar. It doesn't mark it out on the map, the mini map in the bottom left corner, but it does put a marker on your main screen. So, we've got all the different businesses there, as well as the new business, which has popped up, which is, I'm just going to call it Radio Shack. Uh, by the jewelry store, which is absolutely cool to see because it's nice. It just adds a bit more depth to the town Driving by there's some more stores with lights just adds to the atmosphere of it Now the other thing that on the phone that we couldn't check out straight away Is the fact that you can customize your house lock it unlock it directly sell your house that, How cool is that directly from your phone? So if we go inside our house here Got our nice house. You know, it's pretty boring. We've got the plain colors, everything like that. It could be a lot better. We've got our standard rooms. Wish you could customize the rooms. You can't do that yet. Yet. But if we just uh, sit down... Hang on, what's in that? I just I have to check. Is that a wash uh, washing machine? Fair enough. Interesting spot to put it. I mean, it's a nice little uh, unit here. 
All right, let's uh, whip out our phone, and if we jump into the house menu, purple, we can edit our house. So if I click on edit here, oh, I'll lock the door. You can unlock and unlock. Sorry, unlock and lock. We can pin it. So again, put a marker on our map to drive straight to our house. We can sell our home, and we have a full customization option for some very sick looking colors. I love that red for my mini house, my home. Looks absolutely amazing. We've got the nice orange planks. Reminds me of something out of Red Dead Redemption. That's kind of cool. You know, you see some of those houses, especially that one that that guy builds. I've forgotten his name. So many cool, so many cool things you can do. Loving the update so far. I mean, just the fact that you can customize your house, the new weapon system, everything. And this is only part one. It's going to get better twice. Like, it's just ridiculous how crazy this game's getting. Right, now one of the... Other things that is a major part of the update is the new fuel system. So we've got a gas station opposite the police station. Instead of this building just being vacant, a bit of a, just of a shell for decoration. You can now, it's got a full interior. At least this part does. Little command center inside. Got some uh, dials and whatnot here. We've got our Department of Transportation uh, gas and go uh, work clothing on. We're going to spawn in the gas truck. Now this is actually the same gas truck that you can get from the petrol station. So if you have bought it as a petrol station worker, it does carry over. You do not have to purchase it again. Thank God for that because I do not have the money and I'm not a huge fan of spending a fortune on especially some of these civilian uh, vehicles when I don't usually use them. So we have got a bit of a help menu here. So it really acts like the fire system. You have your tank level. You've got little access points. Yeah, there's no interior for this one. So as you can see on the side of our truck, we have a little... Uh, well, there's a little orange and green dial, so we can plug in and plug out hoses. Now, it, we've got this little MDT, so like the police, like the fire, like DOT, we can actually see the city gas station, we can see the fuel levels for all the major gas stations on the map. So what we're going to do with our tank full of gas is we're going to drive on over to the city gas and go, fill them up to 100%, and... By doing that, it actually lowers the price of petrol. So the price of petrol in the game is now dictated by demand. So the higher the demand for petrol, so the less petrol the gas station has, the higher the price will go. Now, the, the most I've seen it for is $6.30. Now, that is the most I've seen it for. I do believe it can go higher than that. I'm not, I didn't know the progress of how much fuel was in it, but I know that's the highest I've seen it in terms of the new update. Now I'm going to attach the hose from my fuel tanker truck to directly to the gas station. So I've got that new gas station bit there. And if I jump on in, it is now 100% fueled up. So if we now detach that and do, can we just drop that there? And we'll do discard. I know we can do the remove hose option. What is the supply intake? I'm gonna try it. Can we fuel up our truck directly from the gas station? Just gonna try this real quick. I'm still a bit unsure how this system works. What's the point of those two orange ones? Right. It seems like it's doing something. Is that dial? I don't think that dial's accurate. <laughs> yeah, nah. That's alright. Um, alright, so the, the city will fully fuel up the city gas station. So if we detach that, then maybe I'll get. Can we attach both? Right. Oh, access trunk. That's pretty cool. You get a, a like a trunk in this, so you can put your Weapon. Oh, actually, you can't have weapons, can you? Oh, hang on. We can get a line from this. 50. Yeah, this is really just a... It's kind of cool that they already have this system in place because it means no matter uh, any other mechanics where they need hoses in the game, it's already... There's that existing system. Now, someone's just bought fuel from this place, so the fuel price has actually increased by a couple of cents because of the fact that there is less fuel here. So we're going to fill it up again quickly. I'm just going to have another read through the tutorial here. This bit of a... Now, help menu. And yeah, so this makes sense to me. So we're basically, we, we want to use the supply. So the supply, right, so there's an intake to fuel up from the gas depot, where they make the, the gas fresh. You know, that's where you get the gas fresh. If you want to have gas, you just head to the gas depot, you just fuel yourself up. I don't know. I'm sure some people in America love to do that. Not hinting at anyone that uh, does anything. But, we can fuel up the gas station from our big truck, if we do 50 meters, so I'll just try this one last time. I think I've got the hang of this now. We should have successfully fueled up. Yep, 100% fueled. So awesome. Let's detach that supply line there, remove hose, and there we go. We've fully fueled up the gas station and effectively lowered the price of fuel. So I believe the gas stations can now 
officially run out of gas. So that's going to be really interesting to see because I know how quickly... There's not many people that usually play the civilian jobs. I, I know from personal experience, and a lot of the people I know that play Air LC, they like to stick to the police teams, the Department of Transportation teams. I know surprisingly a, a lot of people that love to play fire as well, so that's good. Uh, but there's definitely less people that play some of these jobs. So by them not playing that, I think it's definitely going to impact the price of fuel. Now the other thing, the another civilian job that has been added into the game is this good old garbage truck. Now, you can't beat a classic garbage truck. And it's only going to be a matter of time before they have the, um, is it the boom. It's like, it's got like a boom on the side and it just picks up the trash cans for you. It's going to be crazy. Like, they're just, I, I can already tell... There's going to be so many more updates in the future where there's new garbage, there's new everything. New ambulances, just going crazy. But, for the moment, this can now pick up dumpsters. So we have our little control panel on the side. This is what I was talking about earlier. This is going to be the new format for a lot of these work vehicles, especially heavy duty ones. Is that little control panel in the bottom right corner, that black and blue style. That kind of matte black. Where you, So, for us, we've got lower the boom to pick up the dumpster. Uh... Wait, what's this guy cutting us up? He's cutting us off for. Uh, so, raise the boom and then obviously click on the dumpster. Now, unfortunately, as you can see here, I can't actually... I can't actually... Dude, he's a chicken. Or it's a turkey thing. So many of those avatars, it's not funny. We can't physically lift up the car, unfortunately. But we can lift up dumpsters. So, you can't lift up people. You can't lift up oh, pretty much anything. It, so, that is all for the garbage truck. Now, there's one thing that I meant to mention earlier, and that is, if we go down to additional, I should say, yeah, go down to additional lighting options, is one of the newest options for some of the police cars. Now, going forwards, all police cars will have this that are added to the game, but we now have pillar lights. So, this is a bit of a thing, it's a bit more fancy for some of the higher, and more funded police departments in the world. But this is definitely something that is seen all around, and it's pretty amazing actually, I, I like it, and it's cool to see it in air, in air I'll see. Now on the side of our patrol car, you can now see that there's these extra rear light bar, uh, rear lighting options of what's called those pillars lights. So it's like those triangles almost, uh, just on the back of our car flashing. Now I always love, I usually do all the lights you can do on the police car, just for purely aesthetic uh, reasons, just because it looks better. But, I mean our car's turning into a goddamn Pac-Man game, like it's... <laughs> It's not funny. There's so many light options now, which I love. I love. I love being able to customize the police car. I love that the customization pass allows for all this. Like, more credit to the game just adds to the game as well. But it's cool to see that. Again, turning into a Pac-Man game. Like, <laughs> my police car's just going nuts. Now, this wouldn't be a Code 4 gaming video if we didn't go and arrest and tase someone. So, oh, yes! Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Yep, stop there. Stop there. Yep. Tase! Suspect down. One and a half stars. We had to get someone. I couldn't finish the video and not arrest someone. So, I mean, it's our tradition. Right. Let's lock this guy up. Suspect arrested. And let's get out of here and continue <laughs> continue checking out uh, everything. This guy was trying to punch me before. Yeah, he was swinging at me. Ah, he's, he's changed his mind. Good job, man. Now, this is one of the very last things, apart from the Department of Transportation thing, that we need to check out. And that is... The Metro Transit bus. Now, I would love to show you guys this, but unfortunately, I have uh, $88,000, and this is $394,000, and I'm not that crazy. Uh, just kidding. We're going to spend a uh, ton of Robux. Uh, sorry, Robux. Ah, uh, got you again. We're not going to spend any Robux, because <laughs> I, I don't... That's just ridiculous. $394,000 for some bus. I'm not that stupid. I'm not falling for this. Especially... Hey, I can buy the shuttle bus. They, hey, uh, they did actually... According to some people, I, I'm not 100% sure on this, but I know that I'm pretty sure they actually tinted all the windows on the shuttle bus. Because I saw it, I was like, hang on, that doesn't look, that doesn't look right. They've, yeah, they tinted the windows on the shuttle bus, at least I'm pretty sure they did. So yeah, sorry, uh, we're not going to be checking out the uh, transit bus because I'm not paying nearly 400k for that. That's just insane. So $3.57, it was $3.50 earlier, so it got, it's gone up 7 cents. God damn, it's gone up 7 cents pretty quickly. That's inflation for you. And this is the very last thing of the ERLC Summer Update Part 1. You can be sure I'll be covering the rest of the updates. But we have the Department of Transportation, my least favorite team, with this just absolutely bulky-ass trailer. Uh, and, oh, oh, hey, here we go. So we are shoveling in gravel to a hole here. And there we go. Awesome.
But uh, we've filled in a... There's now potholes. We've filled in a pothole. Hey! We've filled in a pothole and that... <laughs> that, wraps, that wraps up today's video, everyone. That is everything in the new update that I've looked at. I've loved it. From the new remodeling of the Falcon Stallion to the interior, I reckon there's going to be a huge interior update. The new phone, the new gun mechanics, just the... It's basically... It feels like a new game, really. If I'm being honest, it really feels like a new game, just with all the different new mechanics. And after all these updates have dropped, it really will be a new game. And I know every time an update comes out for ELC, this game gets closer and closer to GTA and real life. Like, the, the level of detail and everything in this game is ridiculous. Can't thank the developers enough for just making such an amazing game. And I hope you've all enjoyed today's video. You know what to do. Smash that subscribe button. Comment down below. Let me know what you... Let me know what you think of this update. Is it good? Is it bad? I, I personally love it. And smash that, smash that like button. Until next time, everyone. Goodbye!